guys, it's Jessie V. So I think a lot of you already know that I love doing art. I love drawing, I love painting, I love tons of stuff like that. And I did make a video, I think a few months ago, showing you guys my childhood art. And I also included a few recent drawings in that video. And you guys really liked that, so I realized that I have never shown you guys my paintings. And I'm sitting in my basement right now and I'm looking around and I have paintings all over the place. And so I thought today I might make a cool video for you guys to take a look at some of the stuff that I've painted before and it also lets you guys kind of learn more about me and plus I'm planning on giving these paintings away to family members so this video is also for me to kind of remember what I've painted before they're gone from me. I do not think that I am in any way an amazing painter. I think for art you don't have to be the best. Whatever you interpret as art that's good enough so the things that I've made I really like so if you don't that is your opinion and that's fine. Everyone looks at art differently. So let's get started. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to stand up to get out of the shot just so my painting is just in the shot because it's a bit too big, so I'm gonna stand up. Okay, so this first painting is of a little cliff in PEI, which is Prince Edward Island, and there's like a lighthouse on top, there's some stairs going down, and some birds in the sky, and grass, and yeah, I think I really wanted to make this painting because I went there for a vacation one time and really loved the landscape, so that's what I did, and this is actually a handmade frame, so that's cool too, I think. So you guys know that I absolutely love trees, I love forests, I love the woods, I love everything to do with trees, so a lot of my paintings that I've done in the past are of trees and forests, but unfortunately I have sold a lot of those ones. The only tree painting I have left is the one I'm going to show you right now, and it is a winter theme with woods and snowflakes and snow on the ground, so I hope you guys like it. This is what it looks like. It's very um, stylized. I don't really do realistic paintings, but this frame is also handmade and I like the blue and black contrast. I'm not too sure who I'm gonna give this to yet but I really do like it. I also like doing some abstract pieces so some of the stuff I'm gonna show you today are abstract and I like the look of them for houses I think. So this one I'm gonna show you I actually put inside of a basket just so it could stand up on like a table in a house. I don't know why I put it in a basket. Don't ask me. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you could see it in the camera but this is actually really really bumpy the way that that I did it and I put some glitter in it as well. I don't know. I thought it was kind of a cool piece. This next piece is of a fish and I got my inspiration from Dory from Finding Nemo and yeah, I actually put the painting on a piece of rock. This is like, or would you call it slate? I don't know. It's like a piece of rock that I thought was really cool to kind of frame it with and yeah, this is, uh, this is my Dory guys. <laughs> this next piece is on a piece of wood. So as you guys can probably imagine, I like doing my paintings with different mediums and different sort of framing techniques. I don't know. But anyways, this is a butterfly and it says not all who wander are lost and that's a saying from Tolkien and Tolkien is literally my favorite author in the entire world so this is kind of special for me to make. This next piece is also mounted on a piece of wood and it's a girl with butterflies for eyes. I don't know. I just thought it would be really cool and I actually really love this piece as weird as it is. So here it is and yeah, she is not wearing a shirt. I don't know why I did it like that but I love her purple hair and I put some stones on the actual painting as well for like a headband for a necklace and for like I guess arm jewelry and then this one I mounted on a tray I don't know why I do this guys but um it's of just kind of decorative pots with branches coming out of them I don't know my paintings are weird here you go this is what it looks like and I also put stones on these ones as well I actually got these stones from PEI which was pretty cool and then I have three more down here that I'm gonna show you guys and then I think I'm gonna close off the video I have more but maybe they're in the garage or something. I don't know, but I think this is enough to kind of give you guys an idea. But these next three paintings I actually did for inside of family members' houses. So they're more abstract and they're more house-oriented, I guess. Hopefully this won't be too shiny. But this piece is full of mirrors, as you can see, which like took me forever to make. And then these parts are actually ribbons around it. So you can really put it either way, but I thought that was pretty cool for inside of a house. And this one's my favorite. It's blue. These are actually tiles that I put put on there and then this is just like a flower sort of pattern. It's really blue so you have to have kind of this color scheme for your house I guess or have like beige in your house but yeah I really like this. And then I have a similar one but this one is in red and I really like it as well. These are also tiles and flower pattern in the middle but I just like these for the inside of houses. Yeah hopefully that gave you an idea of what my style is like and how I like incorporating different materials in my paintings. And yeah I'm just glad I was able to show you guys that. If you don't like it that's 
that's cool. I totally get it. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. And as usual, my social media information is below, along with my vlog channel and my PO Box information. So check that out. And until next time, guys, bye!